Well, I think games are an important cultural form and it's worth studying them in the curriculum in the same way we would study other important cultural forms like film and literature, art and music. Creative is an interesting word because there's a way of creatively playing. So, you know, rather than just studying and analysing, how can we creatively engage with games that you can buy off the shelf or games that people have made independently? But it also implies that young people in school should learn how to make their own games. And that's the same with all other art forms. We want them to learn to paint, we want them to learn to make theatre, make music and so on. So making games, like making films, is an obvious extension of the cultural curriculum. Well, I, I think it's, it, it's partly about thinking where you would put media education, you know, because often we have to smuggle it in. It's not really on the curriculum. So do we put it in with language teaching or do we put it in with the arts? So it's partly about that. Where, where would they put it? In primary schools, I think it's different because the curriculum is more flexible. Um, so you've got a bit more choice. But I think it's also about um, joining up with teachers of different subjects. You know, if you're the language the, the German teacher, how can you connect up with the art teacher or the computer science teacher or the music teacher to, to do a game making project? And sometimes that, that involves quite a difficult challenge to a curriculum that's in boxes. You know, how do we break out of the boxes?